With the year 2018 coming to an end, I think we can agree that it wasn't one of Nintendo's better years. Sure, we got Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but the year heavily focused on Wii U ports, and the third party games ended up being the best ones on the system. Most of the first party games like Mario Tennis Aces, Kirby Star Allies, and of course Super Mario Party ended up being stinkers. However, I think 2019 is going to be a lot better. We already got four great games coming, well potentially great, which are Yoshi's Crafted World, Luigi's Mansion 3, Animal Crossing, and the next gen Pokemon. But the point of this video right isn't really to focus on the stuff that's already been announced. Maybe go into them a little bit, but this is more predictions on stuff that we think is going to happen in 2019, whether it'll be released or just announced. Well, I think we're ready to dive into the first topic. More ports! Yay! Now, whether you like the Wii U ports or not, they are pretty essential to the Switch's library because most of the library of the Wii U has been ported already, and we already got one right. coming in 19 or 2019, which is New Super Mario Bros. U DX. Now, for the ports, <sighs> I really don't think mm -hmm. there's much left to do. As much as I'd like to see a Pikmin trilogy for the Switch, Unfortunately, I think we're just going to get a port of Pikmin 3 to hold us over until Pikmin 4 is released. Then again, you never know. I mean, with Pikmin 4 somehow coming around the horizon, you never know that uh, if Nintendo might just package 1, 2, and 3 together. Um, but besides that, I have a suspicion that they might do a Super Mario 3D World port. I just think it would kind of be perfect with the Joy-Cons and, you know, multiplayer action. Um, but, I don't know. Uh, what do you think about that? Now, Mario games always sell, and a 3D World port, I think that's pretty obvious. You know, maybe there will be some new characters yeah. added, like Toadette and stuff like that. Or Wario. Uh, Nintendo doesn't care about Wario, or especially Waluigi. But I do or think... maybe Pauline. Yeah, that could work. But a 3D World mm -hmm. port, I could see that happening. Pikmin 3 port, and maybe a wonderful 101 port. I'm not sure about that. Yeah. You actually got to play it, didn't you? Because I didn't play it. I, uh, well, as uh, as the uh, reoccurring joke goes, I played the demo of it. Uh. <laughs> um, but I wasn't really impressed. And I would actually be kind of interested to see how they would port it over. Because most of that game was uh, very touchscreen heavy. Well, they can use uh, you, a gyro pointer. You could, but it's not really the same. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Platinum's a really good developer. Uh, but at the same time, they're kind of in the midst of make, making Bayonetta 3. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I really can't see a lot of more Wii U ports. I don't think we're going to get a port of Game & Wario. I don't think we're no. going to get a port of Star Fox Zero in my lifetime. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen, nor did yeah. anyone ever ask for that. I think Star Fox is going into hibernation for a while. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think yeah, that's pretty much that, it for ports. The, the only Wii U port I kind of despise is New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, but... Eh, oh well, let's just let's just hope that it's over by the time the, the 3D World port comes out. I'm not getting it. That one I was kind of mad about because six years without a 2D Mario and that's what we get? Come on. Yeah. Very true, but I think we'll discuss that later on in uh, in the Mario section of our discussion. Which is coming up very soon because the next topic is mobile games. Now I know a lot of people don't like mobile games, but Nintendo is trying to dive into that market. They had some weird experiment this year, Dragalia <laughs> Lost. I don't know how well it did, but I assume it was kind of niche. It did. It is kind of niche. Uh, I I think I heard because my friend actually plays the game that it's it's pretty popular. I think in Japan, so it seems like it's doing pretty okay for itself. I don't know. This is word of mouth. I don't take my word for it, but that's what I've heard from people who have actually played the game. But this year we will have Mario Kart Tour released. Nintendo said that it's on track, and they also said it would release within the fiscal year ending in March 2019. So we're going to get mm. Mario Kart Tour very soon. Now whether or not it's mm. going to be good, or it's going to be a hit, or anything like that, since we know nothing about the game, we're unsure of yet. But I can guarantee you that we're going to be seeing it this year, with a reveal coming very soon. And, uh, you know, you know me, I'm not really big on mobile games, but uh, the thought crossed my mind because of um, what uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee did with Pokemon Go. 
And I, we discussed this a little bit. And my thought was, what if Mario Kart Tour was kind of like uh, uh, something that helped uh, sales with the next Mario Kart game? You know, kind of like a kind of like something to get mobile gamers to get the next Mario Kart game on the Switch. I don't know. I I, I think that's what. I think that's what the strategy is here because, in all honesty, kart racers on mobile games suck. <laughs> uh, and I honestly don't know what they would be able to do with Mario Kart on mobile, to be honest with you. Now I have a video planned for that, but mm -hmm. going back to that topic, that leads us into the next one, that Mario Kart 9 will get an announcement this year and maybe be released. Again, this is something I'm a little unsure about because they really are focusing on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and we've never yeah. had two Mario Kart games on a console before. But at the same mm -hmm. time, Mario Kart 8 is a game that's almost five years old, which is a long time yeah. without a Mario Kart game. It's so, kind of, it would, yeah. So I could see Mario Kart 9 happening. I don't think it's going to be called Mario Kart 9, but I think it, it will reinvent it in some sort of ways, but it will definitely have connectivity with Mario Kart Tour. I actually, I, I agree with you with the connectivity with Mario Kart Tour, but, but I actually kind of disagree with you that the title won't be Mario Kart 9, only because it would be too perfect to make the release date 9-9-19 and make a whole campaign about that. Get out of here, Sonic boy. <laughs> I'm just saying it would be it would be really really good uh, strategic strategic planning, and it would be way too much of a coincidence. It would be marketing gold. Now so, Mario Kart to or Mario Kart yeah. 9's big gimmick, I think, it's gonna be pretty much Smash Kart. A lot of Nintendo characters are gonna be in the game. Uh, We've seen them kind of mm -hmm. do that with Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I think that's right. the route they're gonna go with it. But the gameplay, it'll be very similar to Mario Kart 8 but improved upon, kind of like Smash 4 and Smash Ultimate, where they look similar at first I, glance, but the gameplay is a lot better in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I, I think it will be like the Ultimate Mario Kart, where uh, all of the old Stadium Cups come back, and there's few new cups, like for example, a New Donk City Cup, or, you know, uh, I don't know, something along those lines. But the fact that I'll be able to play Waluigi Pinball will be amazing and uh the prospect of having more characters in a mario kart game because let's be honest mario kart games rosters kind of suck uh that would be pretty amazing now what kind of concerns me are the third party characters because for me it kind of takes away from the idea of it being called mario kart i don't know if that bothers you that much as much as it does me I think I'll get over it quickly, but I don't know. That's that's just me. Well, Mario Kart's done that before. They have the arcade games with Pac-Man characters in it, and they have that, the characters true. in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But mm -hmm. I think that's the route they're going to be going, and whether you like it or not, you have to admit, mm -hmm. Nintendo has been showing hints of that. So for the next Mario I, Kart yeah. game, I think it'll be more Nintendo Kart instead of Mario Kart, because after playing 8 Deluxe, what more can you do with Mario Kart? That is true. And, and of course, I, I wouldn't... The uh -huh. double carts might return. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Yeah, I, I think this is going to be a Mario Kart Ultimate type of situation. But I, I wouldn't mind having, like, Nintendo characters or even Pac-Man uh, appearing. Uh, you know, as, as, long, as long as the gameplay is still Mario Kart, then I really don't mind. Um, it would be cool if, like, some returning items from past games were, uh, came back, too. But, yeah. Um, I mean, they I did really that with WarioWare, they did that with Smash, yeah. so I kind of see where you're going with the ultimate thing. Yeah, so maybe it won't be called Mario Kart 9, maybe instead uh, it'll be called Mario Kart All-Stars. Um, something along those lines uh, would be more fitting, but uh, we will see, we will see. Well, this has been a very Mario-focused podcast so far, hasn't it? Yes, and uh, should we move on to something else? Nah, right? Right, we got we got something else. Mario, Mario, plan. Mario, more Mario, a bit more Mario, Mario this, Mario that. The next thing I'm predicting <laughs> for 2019 is mm -hmm. either Super Mario Odyssey DLC or a mm -hmm. full-on sequel announcement at E3. Now, mm. you have to admit, Super Mario Odyssey is a major game in the Switch's library. It's the best-selling mm. game, and it's the best-selling 3D Mario game. So they gotta do something more with that. It'd be silly if they didn't do anything with it. Yeah, um, 
I think an Odyssey sequel is guaranteed at this point. But judging by EPD's record, what they usually do with leftover ideas of uh, the original project is instead of making DLC, they make a brand new project. And honestly, I think that's what they're going to do. Now that's what uh, I really hope they're going to do. But there's always a possibility of DLC because Nintendo has been embracing it a little more recently. But either way, I think we're going to get something else Super Mario Odyssey by 2020. Because as we've seen with Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2, Galaxy mm -hmm. 1 came out in 2007 and Galaxy yeah. 2 came out in May of 2010. So they're going to yes. do something like that. And it wouldn't be too far-fetched because games are getting easier to develop now. It'll be easier uh, to use Mario Odyssey ways, assets yeah. again. I think the original I mean, game took yeah. four years to develop. Making a sequel with a lot of the same I, gameplay mechanics like Galaxy 2? Yeah. I mean, listen, a sequel is guaranteed at this point. If there was going to be more Mario Odyssey DLC, we would have gotten it by now. Okay? Uh, Nintendo, Nintendo's philosophy on DLC is... Well, not philosophy, but you kind of get the you kind of see the trend of Mario. Uh, I mean, uh, Nintendo DLC kind of happening rather quickly after the release of the game, um, or within like the six month peripheral that the game is out. Uh, that have that that did not happen with Mario Odyssey, and while it is still selling on the Switch, it's almost been two years since the game came out. So I really don't think DLC is coming to the game for a game that's almost two years old. Um, now, a sequel is coming. I don't think they're going to announce it 2019 because I have a, because of another big game that we're going to talk about later on. Uh, that might be the focus. But, um, yeah, I think it would be perfect to do it in 2020 when it's Mario's 35th anniversary. Yeah, but since they released Galaxy 2 in May of 2010, I mean, they could get something out soon like that. Or... What we could see is maybe a Mario Galaxy port on the Switch. No, I, I doubt it. I, I doubt it, but maybe it can happen. Or, you know, a 3D World port, like we said before, you know? Well, anyways, uh, but, I think that's about it yeah. for Super Mario Odyssey. I think we're going to see something Super Mario Odyssey this year. Whether it's DLC or a sequel, I don't know. But another Mario thing I think we'll see this year is Mario Maker 2.0. Now, it's been mm. way too long without Mario Maker. That was one of the best games on the Wii U. And mm -hmm. there was so much potential with it. But the only problem oh, yeah, is yeah. no one really bought a Wii U. And it was released too late in the Wii U's lifespan to make that much of an impact. Now, it did really well with the people who owned a Wii U. But I mm -hmm. think we'll see that concept again. And the reason I didn't put this in the ports is because I think it's going to be a full-on sequel with new things like slopes, themes, etc., but it'll pretty much be the same concept. You make Mario levels and you share them online. Yeah, one of the main problems I had with the original was that it lets you do like it lets you make your own levels and stuff like that. But there was still way more potential. Like, why couldn't I make my own music for the Mario levels? Why couldn't I pick more themes? Why couldn't there be more uh, skins like Super Mario Brothers 2 or the Mario Land games? You know, why couldn't I pick more characters? Stuff like that. Like, I, I guess there were skins. For the NES Mario uh, theme, but it, it, I don't know, it would have been fun to play as Luigi with his special abilities or Peach. Y you get what I mean? Like, there's more potential to be had, so the prospect of a new Mario Maker uh, that can really fulfill these dreams is really exciting for me, but I have to keep my expectations low because I have a feeling that it's just going to be a port, in my opinion. It could be, but at the same time, we're going to see more Mario Maker just like we did with Super Mario Odyssey. But moving right. on from Mario, we're going to talk about more <laughs> Mario. I'm kidding. Metroid Prime <laughs> 4, full reveal this year. We had no yeah. information on it last year, but this year mm -hmm. I think we'll definitely see some gameplay of it. E3 now, 2018 yeah. or 2019 will be the good time to show that off. Oh, absolutely. Uh, now, it, we're going to see it in E3 2019. But it's not going to be released till 2020. That's yeah. that's my prediction. I don't that's think it'll prediction. be released this year. That's one thing I can it's, pretty much guarantee. I mean, it's it's. I think it's too big of a game to be rushed for 2019. Uh, I think there's again there's more titles that I think are coming for the holidays that could sell. Uh, Metroid would be a really good title. 
uh, to come in 2020. And I think what Nintendo's going to do to hold off the Metroid fans is to give them another 2D Metroid experience on the Switch. Because, I don't know if you've heard, but two years ago, uh, when Samus Returns came out, um, uh, I believe Nintendo uh, were uh, moving on with plans that they had for a 2D Switch game for Metroid. So I think it's going to be... I think that's going to be kind of a pseudo-sequel to Samus Returns and kind of like a bridge to Metroid Prime 4, which will come out in 2020. So that's kind of that's kind of my prediction for Metroid. Makes sense. So, right. yeah, I think we're going to see Metroid Prime 4 for the first time, but it won't be released this year. And I hope it's not released either, because as we've seen with a lot of the titles released in 2018, they were rushed, unfinished, garbage beta games. Right. But I really hope, and I don't think they will do that with Metroid Prime 4, because they're doomed if they do. Yeah, I, I, I honestly think that they're going to uh, hold us off with another 2D Metroid game. Now, after the Metroid game, this is another thing that's a little bit similar. I think we're going to get a new DK this game or this year. Now, whether it's a 2D oh, or 3D yeah. game, I'm not sure. But considering that Retro showed interest in making a 3D Donkey Kong game... And they've it's a 20th anniversary of Donkey Kong 64. I could see it happening. Yeah. Um, you know, we've been talking about this for the longest because, uh, you know, DK, DK is one of our favorite franchises. And we haven't really seen a lot of him. We've only seen a Tropical Freeze port. And the thing with Nintendo is sometimes they'll, uh, they'll do a port like a year before they announce a new game. Like, for example, Metroid. And... They did Tropical Freeze last year as a port. So we're kind of theorizing that the reason they did this was because Retro is working on a 3D Donkey Kong game. And now, Game Rules in Smash too, so yeah. that has to say something at least. It, that's what I'm saying. I'm thinking uh, one of the main reasons why K. Rule was finally added in was because K. Rule was planned for the next Donkey Kong game. Now, this is complete speculation on our parts, but there is some strong evidence pointing to this. And... No, I don't think Retro's working on a Star Fox racing game. That would be so stupid. <laughs> Why would anyone want to play that? I I'm sorry, like, Star Fox fans, I love you guys, but you guys are pretty niche, and Star Fox Zero has a pretty bad taste in everyone's mouths, you know? Even almost uh, three years later. Yeah, exactly. So, I think what they might do is uh, reinvent 3D Donkey Kong, uh... I think that's going to be their big fall title uh, um, next to, you know, uh, another big holiday title, which we'll get into later. But, um, yeah, I think that'll be their Super Mario Odyssey for next year, in all honesty with you. The DK? Uh, yeah, DK. I think DK will be the Mario Odyssey for next year. Honestly think that. And I think, and I honestly think that we're going to see a teaser trailer like we did for Mario Odyssey in January. I'd honestly love to see that. I hope it happens, but mm -hmm. I think the main focus of this year will actually be Animal Crossing. Just like they mm -hmm. overhyped the hell out of Smash Ultimate this year, they're probably going to do the same with Animal Crossing. I'm not sure right. if it will be to that extent, because we already know they have games other than Animal Crossing this year. <laughs> but yeah. I do think you that's going to be the major yeah. focus, because whether you know it or not, Animal Crossing sells like hotcakes. It's sold oh, yeah, a lot definitely. of copies on the 3DS. And yeah. they're definitely going to promote it the most this year. This will be I, the Super Mario Odyssey or the Super Smash Brothers of 2019. I think it'll be the Smash Brothers of 2019. I still think Donkey Kong would be the Odyssey. Uh, but I think Animal Crossing may be coming in the summer. And I think that the game might be focused around some type of summer or island oh, theme. Uh, Hold you on. watched the Arlo video? Yeah, I did actually, and it, you know, Arlo's one of those great Nintendo YouTubers where most of the time I think uh, he's like genuine and stuff like that, but honestly, one of, I think this is what Nintendo's going to do with Animal Crossing, um, and I think it might be an August release, and I think they're going to campaign hard for it during E3, yeah. or they might even, or they might even announce it during a Spring Direct I don't know. Yeah, I think that's the direction they're going with it. 
Yeah, because it like it would it would be a perfect summer game if it was in August, uh, and if you were to like promote it in the spring, you'd have enough time to create hype uh, for it. Not that it needs any more than it that it than it has. But at the same time, I, it's Animal so Crossing. Good. Right. But yeah, I think yeah. Animal Crossing will be the huge focus of 2019. But that leads me into another game that's going to be released in 2019. I think Luigi's Mansion 3 will get revamped in the graphics department. I think we'll know more about the gameplay. They already said there's a lot of stuff we don't know about it already. But I do think it will get a graphical upgrade. Absolutely. Um, you know, we always see games... Um, they always announce games, like for example... I don't know if people remember, but Yarm, the um, Yoshi's Woolly World looks completely different from what it looked like before. Um, and it was in beta form. Games change from beta form to their final form. For example, Mario Odyssey. The cutscenes, the cutscenes in the E3 trailer look different from the final version. So I don't really have any worries about that. I think Luigi's Mansion 3 is going to take the best stuff from the second game and take some of the stuff from the first game that was missing and create kind of the best Luigi's Mansion experience. And yet again, I think that's going to be another fall title releasing in October. Or it could be yes, sooner. Yes. So, I'm not sure. I personally think it'll be released on Halloween. I think it'll be perfect. And uh, this has nothing to do with the game, but I'm predicting the, the title of the game is going to be called Luigi's Mansion Hotel Horror. Because from what I've seen, Luigi's in a hotel, a haunted hotel. Gee, it's kind of dark. You bring a light? <laughs> no. Perfect. That that would be perfect to put references in there. It would be. But anyways, I think most uh, of 2019 yeah. will be better than 2018. You know, there's going to be a lot right. of games that are pretty major, like Animal Crossing and Luigi's Mansion 3, along with Don't hopefully a new no. Donkey Kong game. And don't forget uh, Pokemon, too, the next mainline Pokemon game. Now, there have been so many Pokemon games recently. I haven't really had mm -hmm. that on my mind. But right. I will say it's going to focus on the core audience. And it might be a little bit harder than the last games have been because the reception of Pokemon Sun and Moon, they were too easy. So I think they're going to make them more challenging, especially considering that Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee exist. So right. you know, we already got four great games coming in the year. And I, yeah. I mean, potentially great. And that leads us to another problem, which I wanted to ask you if you're a little bit worried about, too. We saw this year that Nintendo released a lot of half-assed games. Games like Kirby mm -hmm. Star Allies, Mario Tennis Aces, Super Mario Party, even Let's Go. Now, mm. I know I talk about those a lot, but it's important to talk about because it just shocked me when I played Mario Tennis Aces and I finished Adventure Mode and what the hell was that? Yeah. That was it? I paid $60 you know, for that? You think any games are going to be like that this year? Or they're pretty much going to be the same quality of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and Nintendo games before it? I can't guarantee it'll be the same quality of Smash Ultimate. But I will say, I think the games will be high quality this time. And I think they will be worth your money. Um, I don't think we're going to get experiences like Aces anymore or Star Allies because... Personally, I think Animal Crossing has been in development for way too long. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 probably been in development for a long time. Donkey Kong, same thing. Um, and the other games that I was mentioning. I think, if anything, the game that might be disappointing will be the Mario Maker port. That's just me. I'm personally just saying I think that's going to be disappointing. Actually, I was going to say it could be the Mario Kart game if it's actually released instead of just having the Mario Kart Tour connectivity with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, because it seems oh, that's a true. lot of the games that are lacking content are spin-off games. Yeah. And Mario Kart, for all I know, could just have mm. two cups if it's not the ultimate game, and then they'll add cups yeah. every month, and new characters and yeah. stuff like that, which I pray to God doesn't happen. But it's it always would be kind a of, grim reminder in my mind yeah. that it, they it, actually it would be, released Mario yeah. Tennis Aces. It would be kind of stupid if they would go back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe just because it's been two years since it's been released and the hype for the game kind of died. And I would get that maybe Tour would try to make more interest in the game happen. Like maybe, I don't know, DLC connectivity with the mobile title or something like that. I don't know. 
but I don't know. Um, and I also read that um, there were more updates coming to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe from the producer, but that was before the Toy-Con accessory was um, talked about, so I'm not sure if he was referring to that. Um, and, you know, that was after he talked about the Breath of the Wild Link costume. So I don't know. I don't know what to expect from Mario Kart or Mario Maker, but besides those two, I think we're in for a really good year. I think so too, and it's not too hard to beat 29 or 2018. Yeah, or 2016. <laughs> or 2015. Huh. Oh yeah, those those were the worst years. But um, yeah. I think I that think... about wraps it up. Yeah, pretty much. Anyways, I'm Dimitri. And I'm Ty the Guy 2800. And see you all in 2019.